Today I'm gonna to show you how to use our LSTO2 tester. This is a tester and this is a VGA input uh, Trouble DC and this is a uh, uh, screen wire horns input, dip switch and B plus inverter input and then program ports. This is four port is for the CCFL test CCFL backlight lamp and this one it has a built-in lamp here to test the inverter on the laptop computer. For, some, for example, on the laptop computer, you're not sure what's causing the problem. You just connect this end with, using this inside built-in lamp and connect to your laptop computer's inverter. You just fire up the computers and if the lamp lights up here, that means your laptop screen have a defective backlight lamp. Otherwise, it would be an inverter. But today, we're going to show you uh, how you can use this test bus to test two screens. One is the one that uh, most popular one, 15.4 inch screen, and the other one is also popular too. It's for the LED screen, which should have a uh, which has a resolution 1366 by 768. All our newer LSTO tester comes with the P-lower program resolution, which is 1366 by 768 HD. So before you um, test the LCD screen, first you identify the LCD screen number. This number is usually located at the back, this is LCD, and uh, this is located at the back of the screen. And on the back of the label, especially this one, it shows you that it's a Samsung, uh, it's a 15.4 inch screen. And, but some uh, manufacturer, they might have uh, the much smaller uh, back of the label. For example, I have one sample here to show you. Um, now this is a much smaller but you should be able to easily find it because there's only some of them may have two uh, barcode label but just find a um, usually the screen numbers followed by uh, uh, you know, screen size and some letters in front of the, the part numbers for example this one's made in Chimi the part number is N154I3-L03 So go to lcdparts.net, look up the cross reference table to obtain a correct screen wire harness numbers and settings. Samsung. The part number, the screen number we have is LTN 154X3. Three. So we look the screen up, Samsung, use the drop down box, select the correct brand, and you scroll down, try to find the number X3. Here we go, X3, L03. And then the wire harness will be FIS 330S 1LVDS. And then the solution will be 1280 by 10 by 800. Uh, the B plus should be 3.3 volt, the jumper setting will be 1 and 2 on. Now, according to our online uh, setting parameters, we're going to apply all the setting to the LSDO2. Um, all LSDO2 come with the um, default with one to already set it to on, which is uh, the full resolution 1280 by 800. So uh, this one we don't have a set, and according to the chart, we just look at it on, on, online. It's a 3.3 volts. So now we're going to connect this uh, wire harness to the LSDO1. I'm sorry, LSTO2. Alright, so we connect it to it. Now we're gonna connect one extension cable here. Uh, that's for a 15.4 uh, inch. Now we're gonna test the screen. It's LTN154X3-L03. So, and uh, this is a uh, backlight lamp. Connect to here. And then we're going to connect the wire harness carefully here. Yeah, it's really careful. Everything's all set. Then we're going to apply the signal, uh, VGA signal here. Twelve volts. 
here we go you can see all this and this outside um, you can either you know go to the website to download whatever program that you want to and then uh, we should have a color bar or you, you want to check color uh, conformities and there's a lot of different uh, patterns on the on the website just go Google and search for test pattern you can use those patterns bring up different backgrounds and just see the colors and uh, you know the pixel stuff like that so this one is done it's quite easy just plug and play all right now I'm going to show you how to uh, use LSTO2 to test a uh, LED screen that has a Resolution 1366 by 768 HD. Um, first, get the screen number, which is uh, located at the back of the screen. Uh, this screen is made by this sample sh shows made by uh, Samsung. It's a uh, LTN 160A T06. Okay. So you get the screen number and go to our website and uh, go to cross tables and then you gotta look that up that uh, this screen uh, has a uh, 1366 by 768 and then it was using a uh, wire harness LED wire harness to part numbers I dash PEX dash 20455 dash 040. So let's set it up. Uh, first you get set the uh, all jumper off so on tip switch B plus is correct 3.3 volt and then you connect this LED wire harness to this screen port and then connect the 6 pin wire to an inverter connectors this is for the LED uh, supply DC supply so and then you connect uh, get the screen here all right, you care for it. You're gonna connect a uh, this 40 pin LED connector to a uh, this 16 inch LED screen. So you're gonna kind of flick over like this. Now you apply the VGA signal. Twelve volt and turn it on. Actually, you can see. So let me make it better so you can see better. Now you can see it. So it's quite easy. Uh, again, all LSTO2 comes with a pre-installed uh, 1366 by 76 768 HD uh, resolution for the LED screen. So to test this resolution of LED screen, pretty much you don't have to do anything. All you need just set all jumper off, and uh, this. Then when all jumper off and then we connect power back and uh, that's it. Just just remember one thing: whenever you change the setting, okay, setting on dip switch. After you change the setting on dip switch, you have to disconnect the this twelve volts. Do the setting, disconnect it, we connect it back. Otherwise, uh, the controller won't take effect of whatever the setting you have. To whatever you have a new settings, so you must disconnect power after you set the switch, and then we connect it back, and that's it. 